So it's Napco Air. Mm -hmm. I've never so seen that either. Little chips on some of these. That is really cute. And it's like, oh, it's a punch bowl set. Oh, with the ladle. Let's guess the price. Um, I already know. Oh, I've don't tell me. $30. 24 Hey. <laughs> I like the box that it comes with, too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's quite a lot of wear on that's these leaves. That's why it's a little lower. I'm yeah, that's unfortunate. Look at this super cool waffle iron. Whoa. <laughs> As the whole shelf comes tumbling down. Manning Bowman. So cool. $15. Oh, that's nice. Is it a Sunbeam? No, General Electric. Bakelite. $17. Great price. They sell on Etsy for about 40. Really cool. So I am currently in the booth that I was at last time when I bought that chalkware Santa sleigh village thing from the 50s that ended up being worth like $300 if it was complete. And I'm just looking to see if they had the reindeer that go with it, but I don't see it, unfortunately. I did find these, really cute. $3 for the pair, this one missing the top of the hat but this one is in good shape and I have at home one Santa candle base that this could go with and it would look really cute it looks to be from the 70s or maybe late 60s so I think I'm gonna force myself to get it I just wish there was a sale to help me out even if it was 10% I just found out through Barb <laughs> that this booth is 50% off. So I am on cloud nine and 10. So cool. 50% off. Look at this huge, almost lifelike, what's it called? Santa Claus. <laughs> I forgot what this guy was called. $95 and below and behind him is snowman for 75. But over there is a really good one. This one is $180, oh my goodness. But you can tell it's in much, much better shape. Wonder who made him? Let me look at your butt. Let me see here. It's not written there. It's probably on the bottom. Looks like an empire. This is so adorable. Look at him with his little glasses on. Four dollars. I don't know who make who made it either. I really don't need another figurine. I think everyone watching can attest to that. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's that? That's kids on a bunny. Oh, it's from like the seventies, you think, huh? Probably. It's marked arena, whatever that means. Looks handmade, so yeah. Maybe that was her name. That's a unique name. <laughs> Ooh, these are neat suitcases. I know. I would like to have a red one eventually to put some smaller Santas in at Christmas. Oh, like that photo I yeah. sent. Yeah. That would be really nice. These are cool. Again, something else I don't need. Wow. Looks like we have an apple cookie jar and the blushing apple from Hull. They want $37.50 for it. Now look at the wear on this leaf right here, really bad. And then the shakers are an additional $8.50 for the pair of those. But I am surprised they are trying to sell for that much. I think they're a bit high, to be honest. Whoopsie doopsie do. There goes the party. <laughs> Happy New Year! Okay. I found this really cute, I think it's like a red cellophane wreath with this really old decal paper, sort of aluminum 
on the bottom here, it's half off all Christmas in this booth. So that would be $3. So I really just have to grab it for that. So that is awesome. They got some pretty cool stuff in here. What is this? This is a Santa decanter made in 76. Oh my goodness. What does it say? But why does it say Dolly? Mm, Dolly had a drinking problem. <laughs> so it's 250. Yeah, but it's got Can you just paint Dolly. over Dolly? I don't it looks like somebody did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The San uh, the snowman. I know. I looked at them. They're made in 88. Him painted so in 88. So do you have anything against 1988? Or? No, I don't. Oh, okay. This one I'm not a big fan of. Snow Lady. I don't know. Oh, he needs a mate. <laughs> Let him live a little. This has no tag. That's trouble. Are they together? Are they a set? I doubt it. No, because that's a Snow Lady. Oh. But aren't they the same maker and everything? Like, they look very They were made at the same time. Because they oh. both have 88 This one is $3. Name. I would imagine this is also 3 What does that say? I don't know what that's supposed to say. No idea. All right, we're going to leave you two together. We're not, we're not getting those today. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly what we're after, huh? Yeah. This is cool. I forgot to mention earlier. It's a vintage aluminum streamer. Look at this lamp. I know someone who would just swoon with the finial. It's like a salmon color. Fantastic shape. Oh, half her bust is broke. How much is this, dear? Here we are. Oh, yeah, only $200. Found this really cute cake tin. It's $7.50. I'm really trying to fight off of the urge to buy it. They also have these really cute metal trays. That one with the candy canes actually says Hallmark on it. Here, let me grab it. I think it's adorable and it's only $5. This is exactly something I do not need for sure. Actually, I don't even need the cake carrier, but it's really hard to pass this stuff up. It's even worse when you have someone egging you on. <laughs> I didn't, I only said the cake thing. I know, I know, I know. I'm only looking at this, but isn't that adorable? It is. With the little peppermints on there. <sighs> okay. I, get, I think I will get the cake carrier because, I mean, it is a little bit. You can use it throughout the year. Maybe. I just think so because it's flowers. I don't know. Sure. Let's just go with it. Seize the day. Look what I found a rotating tree stand that plays music for $28 with the box. Yeah, this is going home. Oh my gosh. And then you could turn the music off right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have your old one. For the right price <laughs> all right so we just got out of the chirping frog antique store mall really and i did actually go up to the front and mention to them about that chalkware piece it was in a previous video it's like a santa village with santa in a sleigh and it was missing the reindeer well it was apparently valued at like 300 dollars, and if it was complete but it wasn't of course unfortunately no reindeer so i told them can you ask or ask them can you ask that person maybe they have it at home the reindeer so kind of a long shot but i would feel really bad if i didn't at least try so i managed to get lots of stuff we're on our way to another antique store i don't think i've been to it's called lighthouse antique store so we're gonna head that direction now we are going into highway 55 burgers shakes and fries Right off of Highway 55. Apparently this is a chain and they have multiple of these and not all of them are, are on Highway 55. Isn't that weird? It's a 1950s theme establishment. Isn't that cute? They put the kids meals in these little cars. Good 
All right, we just got out of Goodwill. We're on the same mall strip, whatever you call that thing. Uh, strip mall, I guess. And there's a Goodwill right over here. So we stopped in and it was very expensive for the most part, but we, well, Barb managed to grab these two things and she spent a grand total of 40, was it three cents? Yep. 43 cents. And so we have a little Santa Claus here. It might be an ashtray. It might be a spoon rest. It might be, we don't know what it is, but in this really cool tin that I basically had to talk her into getting, it's old and it's cool, not extremely old, but you know, what do you think? 70s, I guess? I think yeah. so. So really neat. And that'll go with her Christmas collection and so will this. So I grabbed nothing by the way. Everything was priced crazy high and yeah. So now we're off to Lighthouse Antique Mall. Okay, so someone has been nipping at the sherry this Christmas because we have here a pair of $40 pilgrims that is outrageous, by the way. $28 for a turkey. Up here we have Santa with a holding a tree for $19. Um, that is crazy. These should not be any more than $10 at the very most. Wow. I found this West Bend hot cold chrome penguin serving dish. And I've sold these many, many times before. They have bake light handles and a knob. It's $13, which is on the steeper side for resale, but they do sell and I currently am out of them on my online store. But when I was visiting the Tin Pen the other day, someone was looking for one and I happened over here. So at the very least I could sell it in person, double my money at $25. And if not, I can put it online, update quantity and it's good to go because it's in great shape. So yeah had to show these. I have never seen these blue fired on lids like this. This is in a Biscayne pattern from Fire King, but this one's clear. Isn't that weird? So cool. This is a very nice booth and there's so many things here tempting me. So we were just looking at some of these little Lefton figures. The red X through the price indicates that it's half off. So that would be 10. So Barb spotted this amazing lion figure and it is a really good sizable thing here. The price, it is only 1250 plus, actually minus 20% off. So that is spectacular. No chips, cracks, anything like that. See anything that catches your fancy? Mm. Probably not anything that's not priced high. Yeah, this is a pretty substantial booth. Wow, $275. That's interesting. Ooh, pink milk glass. Jeanette, fifteen dollars. This is a Fire King in the tulips pattern. Thirty-five. It's part of a mixing bowl set. Would have two others in it, isn't it? Two others, three total in the Fire King mixing bowl tulip. So. Yeah, three. And they have a flared design, as you can tell. Some blue satin. Beautiful. Ooh, Fostoria. Lots and lots of it. Mmm. Stunning. Stunting. Very, very nice. Oh, it's like going back in time over here. You did. You did find it. Majolica. <laughs> what is that, like a creamer or pitcher? It's bigger than a creamer. Raspberry pitcher, I guess. Raspberries are on there. Very neat. Is it actually? Let me see the inside. Yep, that's that is Majolica. Maybe this. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I like <gasps> Look that at one. that little um, pixie here. Oh yeah. 
Very oh, cute. Geez. Yes. Those are ceramic. I think so. Ten. Yeah. Per fish. Ten per fish. <gasps> Ooh. Look. Wow. What do you do? What? No, that's not perfect. That dial. The um hands. Hmm? It's the pair. It is for the pair. Yeah. So are you going to buy the pair? Mm, probably not. Am I going to buy the pair? <laughs> <laughs> um, Unless there's a sale in here. Ten for the pair. I think I am. Why not? There's some frozen charlottes in a bag. Mm-mm-mm. And a glass egg. Milk glass egg painted. Okay, so I'm going to get the fishy fishies. And is that 10 deco? I don't think so. Nope. Janko? Can go? Canco. Canco. Like Continental Can Company? I don't know. Don't know if they have ever been called Canco. But good guess. Okay. Cannot forget those fish. Cannot forget the fish. Swung glass. I don't know if that that always throws me off. Is that swung whenever it's like that orange? I don't know. I can't tell if they're truly swung or just molded like that. Now it's swung. Or no. Well, it's molded and then maybe swung. So we ended up leaving the other antique mall and we found this other one just right down the road and it's huge. But I did get this little oriental lacquerware music box it does work great and it's only two dollars and fifty cents because the booth owner was there and he marked it down for me but this booth is really cute what, oh, this is a different pattern I haven't seen yeah what is that what is that Pyrex what Pyrex England oh no wonder we don't live in England I was looking at this brass thing up here with the birds it's $17 and I think online that would sell for about 50 but I'm just not feeling it right now over here is one of these jam jars right here I was at an auction not too long ago they had a pineapple version of this the pineapple versions they go for a ton of money wasn't it 200 or am I am I being absurd here um, wasn't it around I think it was around 100 but okay sometimes more sometimes. it was like 100 to 150 maybe it was going for quite a bit for the pineapple versions of this and i missed out on it i think it only went for like two or three dollars at the auction thing is i know that the strawberries of that and the pears and the apples they only go for like a few dollars so I didn't think that the pineapple would be much different, but it was. That's pretty. I have this cookie jar in my booth right now for $45, same exact one, and they are wanting 85 firm. Mrs. Butterworth, hey, she's only two and a half dollars. Didn't you say you wanted one like this? I said I got one in an auction lot and it's painted. Somebody painted it like Christmas oh, and how I don't dare know they. what to do with it. Can you scrub her up? No, I think you could sell it that way, but I don't... Painted? Yeah. I kind of like this. Well, it looks pretty old. She's an old maid. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. Today's been such a mess buying every single thing I find, it seems. Uh, oh, beads. Mardi Gras. Rotaries in the basic colors. Eight fifty, six fifty. Do you want a rotary phone? Look at these. Six fifty, eight fifty. These salmon beige colors. Eight fifty. No. I don't They're kind of basic, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. If they were like a buttercup yellow, I'd be like swooning. Yeah. Or red if, would always fat, be yeah, red. <laughs> I sold red before and it was over a hundred dollars. That was a deal for me. Ooh. 
Yeah, I sold that red rotary phone to the set department of the show Gotham. Ooh, this is cute. You should buy this for a dollar. It's a pink... Um, pink plastic cup. For the bathroom. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? It's so cute. Chalkware doggy. It's a carnival prize from the 40s. Eighteen fifty. Did you look at these tens? Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Just a grease. Tobacco. Ooh, those bird pictures are cute. They're real feathers, aren't they? Oh yeah. They are. Twenty. Dillard's. Okay. Bird yes, skin. it is. Very nice. 28? Huh. It doesn't seem that bad. Look at that. Is this plastic? No. Is it? I thought it was metal. It's metal, yeah. It's wow, in very good shape. Looking. That clock. I you're going to get it? Back. You're not? Oh, you're not going to get it? I don't think. Let's look at it on camera here. So I can remember that it's I should have done it. It's a Wren, W R E N, the Lux Clocks Co, uh -huh. Lebanon, Tennessee. Nine dollars is not a bad price, but I was trying not to buy anything else. Yeah, we've purchased a lot today, more than our fair share. Oh, here's a greasy guy. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't come out right. Eighteen dollars. These swans are so fancy, they have their own case. <gasps> wow, is that jade? I, jade? I think, I don't know. Maybe. It's heavy. Made in Pakistan. Oh. They're very nice swans. You're very pretty. Pretty, pretty swans. What did you find? Well, it's a McCormick's tea tin. It says 1936. Ooh. But I don't know how they know that. Maybe it says it somewhere, but... Hmm. Well, they must have done a little research at some point. Um, how much is it? Well, half price, I guess. Is that four? So I would guess four. I would guess. You should get it. <laughs> the end. Yes, of course. It's nice. Magic 8-Ball. Should I buy this clock? Does it say? I don't know. Okay. <gasps> Wait, what does it say? It says yes. It does not. It does. It's upside down. <laughs> it <does say> yes. <laughs> you can ask. The other okay, one. do that. Magic eight ball. Should I buy this clock? Uh oh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> that is crazy, <laughs> insane of those balls. That's hilarious. No. The balls have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get the clock. Hey, there's a red rotary phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also found this little guy here. He's missing an eye. I'll paint that back on. A dollar only, but it's vintage enough, I think. I have to do a little research, but he looks older. Hard to find vintage Halloween stuff. And by older and vintage, I mean probably the 70s for this guy. I asked it if I should put the clock back, and it said my reply is no. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I no. wish I was recording this. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. Oh, you should show them the Santa. Oh, yeah. We've been this way before, but we are on our way to... Re well, we're on our way to put the clock back, and we consulted <laughs> the mysterious Magic 8 Ball and learned we shouldn't. But this is a blow mold, and it's newer. Probably wooden, you think? 90s? Yeah. I didn't even ask. You just said, when, I said, when do you think? And you said, yeah. <laughs> You're not even, our brains are mush right now. 50% off of 50. This is a 50% off booth. This is the one I was talking about. Oh, here he is. <laughs> and he has a Coca-Cola thing and they are hard to find with the Coca-Cola bottles. And they just slip in and out of their hands. So yeah, $100. He has white boots. How common is that? It's not uncommon. Oh. I have one with white boots. I just picture them with black. 
I like them better with black. Mm -hmm. Oh my. My back is killing me. Where did I even get this though? Right there, this next booth. Oh. Right here. Oh, this one. Mm-hmm. And they don't they have others? Do we need to get the magic eight bulb? Let's see about the others. <laughs> this is the one I was telling you was kind of cool. General Electric? Yeah. That is special. That one is fourteen. So not too bad. I it, like the little legs on it. On the front. Oh. And yeah. I'm picky. Yeah, that's little crack right. right there on the bottom. That's a cute ten right there. This one? Uh huh. Is that one of those it's two dollars syrup things? Oh, I don't know. It's rusty, can't oh there's like a number, I don't know. That's a shame, but she looks pretty. Mm mm. Very nice. Do you think I'm gonna have bad luck if I put this back? Yes. <laughs> Is that what happens chances if you don't are, to the magic? Chances table? are yes. <laughs> are you really? After what they said? <laughs> are you really going to tempt fate? Fine. <laughs> we should buy one of those balls. <laughs> I could just make so many that good choices. I could have a lot more fun with that than this clock. <laughs> How much were they? I don't know. <laughs> Should we buy you? <laughs> <laughs> that one's six dollars. This one's eight dollars. What's the diff? Oh, it's a little faded on the top. I don't know. Maybe this one doesn't work. It's the scratched. Same, that's the fade. What do you mean it doesn't work? You just use both. Oh yeah. What did it say? We didn't ask anything, without a doubt. Um. Should oh we we're supposed to ask should we buy you? Okay. Should I buy you? As I see it, yes. Okay, should Barb buy you? <laughs> it is certain. Well, there we are. It's very agreeable. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll let it rest. Trolls. I used to collect those. By collect, I mean get them in Happy Meals. And then throw them on the floor. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here before we go bankrupt. <laughs> well, you know what? You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I will not ever bring it up again. <laughs> or will I? I bet this will still be here if we come back with Aaron. And I won't have spent as much money on that day, maybe. You need to think big picture. <laughs> Look, you need a Santa on a motorcycle down there. Mm. Okay. Look at the shiny bright box. They're going to kick us out soon. They close at 5.30 and it's like 5.25. That's $6. For reals? I but what about the big, on the big one on the bottom? That's the one I was referring to. Oh. It's a big one. $8. Are you kidding? No. Those are some big balls. Big pink ones. Do you want it? No. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> now I know it's in there. These lamps take forever to sell online. I've tried selling this big one here, this more industrial type. It's a cute little, little one for $4. Okay, we need to hike and get out of here. <laughs>